Good morning, everyone. Janie here. We are at Home Depot this morning getting mulch, which is very exciting. It is not raining today, so we're taking advantage of the dry day. And we're coming here, and we are kind of a little stocking up, not a ton stock up. I say we because Jason. Hey, Jason. Hi. <laughs> so uh, we are going with this mulch right here. This is Pathway Ground Cover Mulch. And this is where at Home Depot. This is the mulch that Robbie from Visit Our Garden has. So I did a garden tour with him. His garden is so beautiful, you guys. And he was saying really great things about this mulch. So I am copying him. Thank you, Robbie, for the suggestion. Now, it is not on sale right now. It is $5.97 a bag, which is... <laughs> it's ridiculous. So we are only going to get like some today and then, uh, you know, spring is coming and they always have their spring sales. So I'm going to wait until the spring sales go on and then I'm going to like really stock up, like fill up my shed with bags of this so that I can have bags. I am going with bags because I'm not willing to do a big bulk delivery with the weather that we've been having because I don't want a big pile of wet mulch in my front yard. Uh, <laughs> at this time so you know and i don't know with the with the weather i don't know how quickly we're going to be able to get this out into the garden so we thought we would just come here and get some just so that we can get started with adding mulch back into our garden all right so we're gonna fill up maybe half of our car i don't know we'll see maybe 10 bags or 20 bags or something like that we'll see and then we'll head home and we'll get hopefully if the weather holds up we'll get it started today if not we we might have to wait a couple days okay so this is what we ended up with 10 bags six bucks a pop <laughs> $60. Everything is so expensive these days. So we're going to head home as long as the weather holds up for us. We're going to start putting this out today. Um, and then I'm sure we will be making multiple trips to get more of this stuff. And I will be watching like a hawk to see and wait for it to go on sale. Cause these things usually go on sale for like $3, $2. Um, there is other, actually the mulch that I used to use is on sale right now for $3 a bag. Uh, so I just have to be patient and I just have to wait and see until it goes on sale and then I'm gonna come and get like all of it. <laughs> all right, we made it home. We got all the mulch in the garage. It is heavy. <laughs> These bags of mulch, they're kind of waterlogged because of all the rain that we've been having. And I, you know, I'm pretty strong, but I am having trouble picking these guys up. So this is, I'm gonna get my workout for today for sure. We ended up putting them in the garage just in case it does start raining. It is supposed to rain tomorrow. I'm hoping to get all this mulch out today. Um, but you know, just in, just in case we don't get it done. I do have my cut flowers out here hardening off. They are so hardened off. <laughs> they are so ready to go. I was planning to do this today, but I'm going to put it off for another couple days just because we do have a big rainstorm tomorrow. Uh, rain and windstorm tomorrow. So I feel like that should be the last big one that we're dealing with here in California, but who knows? They keep saying it's the last one and then we end up having another, another big storm. So that is kind of put off on the back burner, but I did want to talk to you guys about kind of the things that I've learned about the importance of mulch in your garden. Uh, this is what I've learned in my master gardeners class and you can, you could probably saw by the title, mulch, mulch, mulch. That's what one of the presenters used to say. Um, not used to say, that's what one of the presenters was saying to us that that whenever they talk about mulching, what they say is mulch, 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 because that's how important it is, especially if you live in a hot climate like I do. So mulching, there's many reasons why it's good. Not only does it make everything look nice and beautiful, but it does keep the soil temperature cool. And that's really important because if you live in, well, I, I mean, I guess it keeps it cool and it keeps it warm. So if you live in a really cold area, mulch will help keep the soil temperature up so that your plants don't suffer too much and have roots that get too cold. But the same thing in the summer, if you live in a really hot area, mulch is going to keep that soil temperature cool. So it just kind of regulates the soil temperature a little bit so that your plants are happier and all the organisms in the soil are happier like the earthworms like the bugs like the beetles like the nematodes like everything is a little bit happier uh, avoiding the temperature extremes and mulch will help that the other thing that mulch helps and we all know this is preventing evaporation of the soil so if you don't have mulch and then you have a really hot day what's going to happen is your soil is going to dry out to get and it gets to the point where it's called hydrophobic 
thick, which means the soil is so dry that even when you water it, the soil doesn't want to actually take up that amount of water. So it, it's kind of like a never ending cycle. It's so dry, so it's hydrophobic. And then because it's hydrophobic, you can't get away from it being so dry. So mulch actually prevents soil from going hydrophobic like that. Um, it keeps enough moisture in the soil, enough moisture from evaporating that you never really get to that point of your soil being hydrophobic, which is really, really important. So anyway, mulch is extremely important. Um, I have had a lot of you guys tell me to use compost as mulch, and I think that that is a great idea. But unfortunately for us here uh, where I live, we are just too dry and too hot during the summer. And we, we are dry and hot for a very long time. And compost doesn't do as good of a job of uh, retaining the moisture and, uh, and keeping preventing evaporation as mulch does. So I do, I have put a layer of compost underneath my mulch, but I do need to put mulch on over the compost. I think if you live in a little bit uh, moister environment, wetter environment, or an environment that rains a little bit more often than we do, I think using compost as your mulch is a fantastic idea. If you live in a hot area like I do, mulch, mulch, mulch. All right, so my plan is just to get started. I'm gonna start with this little spot just so that I feel like I've accomplished something <laughs> and this will be really easy to do. Then I'm gonna move on to the crepe myrtle garden bed. This is gonna take me a little bit longer because I have little plants everywhere. So I'll just have to go around everything. And then if I finish this, which I kind of doubt I will, but I might, um, I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna get started with this part of the garden and then just kind of work my way up. Doesn't everything look really pretty. I mean, that's one thing for the rain. The rain, it makes everything look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they are coming to pick up the dumpster. It should be tomorrow, I think. They, they leave it here for two weeks and then they come pick it up. And so that's, I'm excited to get that picked up. <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, and here comes the rain. It's so funny, because in the morning it says no rain all day, and then you take a look outside and you go, hmm, I don't know, it kinda looks like rain. And what do you know? And I just checked the weather report and there's actually lightning and thunder predicted for later on this afternoon. So I am done, but luckily I got all 10 bags of mulch out. It looks so good, you guys. So let me show you what I did. So I started up here on this little garden bed. That was easy. You can see my pile that I need to throw away. Then I made my way over here to the crepe myrtle garden bed. This was tough. I was, <laughs> I was trying so hard not to get it on the plants, but you can see, you know, you do your best <laughs> and it kind of 
it gets all over the place, but it's perfect because now the rain is going to wash it all off. So it actually ended up working out perfectly. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to put it here because I do want this creeping Jenny to spread and I feel like the mulch will kind of limit it from spreading a little bit, but I decided to go ahead and put the mulch. I did try and blow off the sidewalks, but it was already raining and too wet. So that's a little bit messy, but that's okay. I think it looks beautiful. And then I was able to make my way a little bit over here and kind of up to about right here. I can't point because I'm holding the umbrella in my other hand, but you can kind of see like just past my iceberg rose right there is where I got. So I like this mulch. I think it's a great mulch. What I was using before was this big nugget black mulch. You can kind of see there's a little bit left over like right there. And the problem with this stuff is it did not break down. So anytime we wanted to replace mulch, we had to remove that mulch and then put the new mulch down. And that is just a complete waste. And it doesn't help your soil because you want your mulch to kind of break down into the soil. There's like pluses and minuses to every mulch you use. If you get that big nugget mulch, it's not going to break down so you don't have to replace it as often, but it's also not as good for your soil. So, you know, it's just kind of what you're going for. I don't mind replacing it. I actually tend to replace my mulch a lot as I'm working in different areas of the garden. So it doesn't really bother me and I really wanted mulch that was going to be really good for my garden. And I think this stuff is going to be really, really great. One thing I did notice is look at my breath of heaven right here. It is like growing like crazy on this side, but then on this side, it's not growing very much. And I actually do have a couple brown spots back here because this is where my mystic spire salvia grows up. And so it doesn't get a lot of sun during the summer, but no, <laughs> it's like totally lopsided. So I am going to have to uh, prune this. I pruned it last year and it looked so good after I pruned it, but you usually want to prune it after it starts blooming or after it's finished blooming, I should say, and you can just starting to bloom. So I'm just going to let it go for a little while and then I will get to uh, pruning it. It's going to be a big mess and get all the mulch that I just put down <laughs> messy again, but that's kind of just the nature of it. All right, so that is it for today. I am super happy with what I got done. Uh, this was 10 bags of mulch and I got the whole crepe myrtle garden bed, that little triangle garden bed, and then, ugh, let's see if I can hold the umbrella about to here. <laughs> I'm holding the umbrella with my chin. All right, everyone, so that is it for today. I am gonna go inside and clean up because I am an absolute mess. I was trying so hard not to get my plants dirty with the mulch, I wasn't even thinking about myself. <laughs> so that is okay. I am just glad that I was able to get out here before the rain really started. I mean, it's kind of just sprinkling right now, but just since uh, it's thunder and lightning on the forecast, I'm gonna go inside, um, get another cup of coffee and relax. So I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.